My name is Sarah Kobayashi and I'm 21 years old. I live in Copenhagen and I was born in Denmark or Copenhagen. I think it was in Copenhagen I was born. My name is Eduardo Bustali Kodugi Kedi. I'm from, uh, I was born in Milano, but I live, uh, I live in Sesto San Giovanni, which is a city close to Milano, 20 minutes away. My name is Paula, I'm 22 years old, and I'm from Berlin. I grew up in Tiergarten, which is in the center of Berlin and really close to a lot of parks and um, playgrounds. Berlin was already at that time really multicultural, so there were all kinds of people from different places and you could play and slide with a Mexican guy and you couldn't make a sandcastle with a Polish boy. It was just like really multicultural. First I lived in Copenhagen, then I moved to Timpu in Bhutan, then I moved to Sengelese and then I moved to Copenhagen when I was 20. When I came to Sengelese, um, I don't remember that much. Well, I can remember I got the letter from our teacher saying, welcome to Denmark, we're looking forward to having you. And then um, it was very different for me, people were very different. Everything was moving a lot faster than usually, or yeah, than I was used to. Well, the most uh, special moments I have with my parents is definitely you know the summer holidays. We used to um, travel in a van uh, all the way to France. We used to go all around the, actually the borders of France, so the coast, east coast, west coast, Normandy, Bretagne. My parents are really into um, folk music in general, so we were looking for uh, this traditional. Uh, places where to find uh, cider and dances and music. I will, I will never be alone in music. That's what my grandfather used to say. Yeah? You're never alone in music. Yeah, I think I did a lot of this creative stuff, being in a theater and trying to make music and always wanted to meet new people. I never really liked sitting at home and doing anything, so I was always like, Let's go out and meet people. Yeah, that, that was that what I liked. I just moved to Valby. So um, I bike a lot to Nørrebro. I love Nørrebro. I love the people in Nørrebro. Um, I love the atmosphere. Um, when it's really warm and there's all these Arabic people hanging on the streets and these dudes with the red, with the orange beard and uh, <laughs> you know p women in burka and you can buy this uh, cinnamon gum in the in the small shops i love all that kind of stuff this live pizzeria is just down there it's a really really great pizza place like really i don't know i don't think he's actually his name is actually live because he doesn't look like a danish person um w one time i was biking down uh, mimaskal and he was actually waving to me inside the pizza place and it was just really awkward. It was so weird and I didn't know if, yeah, he must have like recognized me or something. I waved back, of course, yeah. I managed to survive. I work as a guide on canal tours. I explain people the story of Copenhagen. Really. I play a lot of music and it's really lovely here because there are so many open stages and so many people you can get to know. So we can basically play every night and I have this piano player I play with and just actually just uh, this week we had a really nice concert and it gives you a really good feeling if people actually come and like they just listen and they give you an applause. It's it's lovely, a lovely feeling. Um, I love to hang out with my friends 
we just recently we went to the forest so i actually like going just outside to the river or to the water or climb on trees we actually just have an apple tree outside yeah we have to climb that to get some apples i clearly remember when i studied at roskilde university it was a crazy day i mean first of all of course i was very anxious i mean it's first it's like going back to school basically you know but the funniest thing is that you know when you reach roskilde you don't reach a building i mean you reach a village is full of uh, departments and you have a lake it's very idyllic as well in a sense i mean it's not the most scenic place but it's very beautiful and when i reached this place i was working with thousands of people i was actually welcomed by my group there was a uh, a lot of tutors already at the beginning welcoming us and uh, we moved together towards the lake and I'll never forget for some fucking reason there was an elephant I mean there was an elephant and some camels and already that the, the stereotype I had of a university was completely crashed I mean I didn't expect anything like that I chose book because I didn't really know what I wanted to study yeah I, I wanted to work in the groups I wanted to make the project with other people. Um, I think they sell it really well on the homepage. <laughs> the whole pr uh, principle with the with the group work and the lectures and yeah. I think you you gain some uh, some qualities you don't get in somewhere else in the uh, Copenhagen University or wherever where you that you get from book. <laughs> Working with international people, well, people from different countries, was really interesting for me because, first of all, this group work thing it was really new for me. And when you work with people who yeah, have a different background and different cultures, you also have different points of views that, on the one hand, can make it a bit difficult, but also is a good challenge to overcome because you actually have different angles from which you can face a problem. And, yeah, different people like different things to do, so everyone just finds its own, yeah, it's an interesting field and this is how you can build up a project. And I thought, yeah, it was really nice to meet different people and not just, if I imagine myself studying in Berlin, all with Germans, oh God, I would be so bored. I mean, that's the biggest part of Rook, I think, is to bring people together. You have these two weeks where you get to know each other. Maybe it's typical of Scandinavia in general, because also in Copenhagen University they have it. But I always heard that at Ruskin University is much more spatial. Thank <laughs> you.